Alrighty, what's going on guys? Edward here back with another video and this is again, um, this is going to be another free alternative. Um, Alright, due to some a couple of requests on my last video uh, that I posted, uh, you know I've been doing actually a series called uh, free alternatives and basically I try to replicate uh, paid indicators um, using other indicators that are for free inside of TradingView, trying to replicate. Uh, just so you know, it's not exactly 100% the actual indicator, the real indicator, okay? This, this sort of indicators, these developers, they create them with uh, other, other things in it, you know, that it makes it very original and just trying to find everything, like all the indicators that they have here, trying to find everything in there and put them in all together, it, it can get very complex sometimes but most of them are just i'm doing this is because they are trend-based indicators so they all work best when markets are trending if markets are ranging they are going to be lacking for sure okay this this is guaranteed you know so uh you know it, they the original comes with a lot of more things a lot of more features okay just understand that the uh free alternatives that I'm showing on just basically basically concentrating on the ones that you really need there are some settings that you really don't need so that's what I'm doing so just wanted to show you right here that I'm actually replying to one of the comments I'm getting a lot of requests alpha I'll go uh, there's another one asking me for alpha I'll go and this one in particular uh, in particular decided just just take a random look right here and there's one call uh, can you make a million move I'll go so I just wrote down this all right that's an easy one challenge accepted let me work on it so this is the actual indicator right this is the actual channel and again this indicator comes with a bunch of features all right and i'm going to try to replicate them based on this video on what he is showing right there and i'm going to try to find the near the closest uh indicators that you can find for free on trading view right you can sort of apply them all right now, with that being said, so I can clearly see he is using here. See, he is explaining. If you want to watch this video um, right there, just go ahead and, and follow him. All right. I actually I, I did subscribe to him. I don't hate. As I mentioned, I'm not hating or anything like that. I'm actually doing this series to try to replicate this indicators. OK, at least some of it. OK, as I mentioned, there are some features. I'm sure if I. If I can try to replicate this one right here, this oscillator, I'm sure I can find something very close, but I'm gonna concentrate on the ones that are on top, okay? So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead on my chart right now. And um, as I mentioned, he is using the Haikin Ashi candles, all right? He does mention that he uses the, uh, you do need to use the Haikin Ashi candles to sort of remove some of the fake sell, buy and sell signals, you know, when markets are ranging and so. So I'm gonna do it as well. Uh, at the moment, I am using the Heiken Ashi candles. All right. One of the indicators that uh, you, you guys are going to be using as well is the same, okay, which is the Super Trend B, all right, and the CMEMA trend bars. Okay. I did explain this actually on this Infinity Algo indicator. Uh, you're actually using similar, similar indicators in there you can replicate. So this is where you see that almost all indicators are trend based. I'm literally using the same indicators, just uh, uh, just changing a couple of settings up, but it's basically the same. I am using most of the times the same indicator for to replicate most of these uh, you know paid indicators right there. So uh, I'm gonna open up right here, as you can see. This is the CM CMEMA trend bars. You're gonna find it just like that. Go on indicators, CM, EMA, trend bars. This is the creator, right? And this is um, the super trend, basically super trend B, because let me show you right here. Super trend B, there are two, okay? We're gonna be using the one, this one, super trend V by Rafael Sioni, right? And let me show you the settings just right quick right here. You can, I think I, I don't believe I actually move anything of this. This is just a standard right there. And a style, uh, I want you to do the same thing I did right here. It comes with a bunch of stuff, right? You're gonna hide everything else. We don't need any everything else right here. 
is just going to leave this ones on, turn the, this one off. And I believe that is it. That is basically it when it comes to the super trend V. All right. And then for the CM EMA trend bars, uh, this is preference as well, but are you going to use the 90? Okay. In this case, and the colors, well, it's going to be the same. You can, you can add whatever color you want, but let's see one thing. I'm using 90. I think he is using, let me see you go back on the settings. And you move. Because this looks like uh, like a 200 moving average. Yeah, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's actually go ahead and choose instead of the one of the 90. Let me see if I can use 200. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we can. I'm guessing we can stick to the 200. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually stay with the 200. All right. For this example. All right. So when we go back on the indicator, let's go back here. I want to see. All right. So, have, so he has the Haikinashi. He has the buy and take profit. It's just when he switched to Haikinashi, for some reason, it stopped giving them. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So you see, he, he is actually, but he said that he is not going to use it for the moment. For this video, he's not going to use it, so he's going to hide it. So he hide this indicator, which is this one right here. We're not going to use it at the moment, but it's this one right here. It's called X Trend. Okay. Very similar to the one he is using right here. Okay. You literally, uh, you get actual buy signals as well or sell signals. You know, when the price is breaking below, you, can, you get a sell signal right here or you get a buy signal. But of course, you're going to be ignoring this sort of stuff. You're going to be buying when you get both signals right there. But at the moment, don't get again, don't don't want you to get confused right here. I'm just going to hide this one because he is not using it. All right. He's not using it in here. But. But right here, he is using just this moving average okay uh the 200 now this one's right here which colors which indicator is that again i happen to find it so let me go ahead and delete this one and this one is called madrid if i'm not mistaken you should have it as favorite yeah this one right here madrid moving average ribbon right here right this is the creator so select that and boom just like that you have it if you want to change the colors of this is very bright right now uh jesus it it hurts my eyes but anyways this is sort of a similar move, uh, indicator you see of course you need to if you want to change the colors they'll just double click on it and then go on style and you can put the colors, all right? I'm not going to spend the time just changing the, the colors of this thing at the moment. I'm just going to leave it as it is. So we can see that literally what he explains right here in this video is that you go buying once everything, you know, you're getting the smart buy signal, plus you are getting on top of the moving average, right? And also you're starting to see the lines of the Madrid, in this case, the Madrid ribbon indicator starting to get all green pretty much in your favor. So it's something like this. All right, he's getting the buy signal somewhere here, but you're not buying until you see everything on point. You start actually seeing everything on the green. OK, so you'll be buying somewhere. Probably with this candle, once everything has switched back on green, that's your entry, your stop. You can do it. You can place it below the moving average or below. I rather price action. So I rather place it below the nearest swing low, which is this one. And then TP, you see, you actually get the signal for TP. You know, if you want to hit at least TP1 or TP2, just right there. Or you want to continue holding 
that's the cool thing about that indicator that you can hold that thing as long as it stays above, you know, right there. You can actually stay, you can decide, you know what, I'm actually going to be closing once the price starts breaking the last, which is the thicker moving average right here. Once you start breaking that one, maybe that's a sign for me to get out. So somewhere there, that would be a nice take profit. But again, guys, again, just look at this, the example that he is just showing right here, right? Market is sort of going above, going below in a little bit. So it's just moving in ranges right here. You're getting fake signals or, you know, signals that are not that good right there. Same is going to happen right here. Okay. The same thing is going to happen right here. If markets are ranging, indicator is useless. Okay completely useless what's my advice my advice let's go ahead and hide everything up i always recommend this hide everything learn price action okay you learn price action first once you learn price action once you know where what in the structure is how to mark your structure up let's go ahead and see if we can find some examples on this thing for let's say for example a trend let's go in a different time frame let's go to a one hour right now we have on one hour we can clearly see there is a nice trend right here right there's a nice trend Normally, I would be looking to enter on a trend like that if price breaks this structure. Maybe if we have somewhere like there, like right here, there was a nice support and resistance, right? So we had a break of that resistance, that support as well, right? It broke plus also broke the trend line. Okay, so I am interested in looking for buys. Let me go ahead and check the indicators to see what I can get, okay? So coincidentally, when I open the super trend, Coincidentally, the super trend is giving me the buy right there. Oh, wow, like, like magic, right? And you're like, oh, what? It's just giving you when it breaks. Exactly. Yeah. Price action is key and is king right here. Price action dominates whatever indicator you're using, guys. All right. And learn this thing first, then you can use an indicator. All right. So I'm getting right there. I'm going to open the next indicators. Uh, this is the CMEMA. What's happening right there? Ah, okay, I get it. The the actual CMEMA indicator. I'm still below. I'm sort of like still below the moving average. So should I buy at this point? Technically, no. It's not giving me the actual buy right there. So I should skip it. Let's say if I change the two hundred back to 90 to where I had it. Now, if I change it back to 90 where I had it before, okay, All right? You see, I was actually using those settings, testing them out um, and see which one would work better for, for me. So in this one, in this particular case, the 90 is working really nice at the break. It's giving me that signal right there. And now let's go with the Madrid ribbon tin, you know, this actual indicator right there you see that also started breaking above and sort of everything right here is starting to go green, you know? So this would have been a nice entry, even though, my God, this is a lot of moving averages. I'm not a fan of having all this, these lines and things on the chart, to be honest, but hey, I'm just trying to replicate the indicator. So that's, that's the job, basically what I'm doing right now. So placing the stop below the low, and you see, you're actually getting a couple of TPs right there. You had a TP1 and TP2 with this thing. Nice. Price, then after that, looks like it came back down. If you were on break even, let's say after the price pushing up, you took some T take profit one, take profit two. All right. You should definitely be on break even by that time. So price looks like it came back down, got you out on break even, and then it started pushing back up. It looks like it was ranging a little bit after that before climbing back up on top. So, I hope it makes sense, guys. You see, what I'm trying to show you right here is not just to replicate the indicator, but also to have a plan, okay? I'm hiding everything up because I really don't want to see anything yet. I don't want 
the indicators to disrupt me, to to just be there causing confusion. I just want to see the price action. I want to see the, the market moving. I want to see the candles. All right. Let's see. Let's go into a different time. Let's go five minute time frame. I don't know how this may work on the five minute time frame, but let's see. All right. Like I want to see trends. I normally want to find or see if there is a trend and a trend breakout, uh, consolidation, maybe a support. But let's see. You know what? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try looking for something else. I'm taking the time right, right here, guys. I want to definitely take the time with you and just explain everything. Let me actually look for a pair and give you more examples on a pair. Right here, as you can see, we have a trend. Okay, there's a nice trend right there. Right? And then we have, all of a sudden, we have a failure. Price breaks. I love marking up support and resistance, just understanding what is going on. What is the market actually doing? You see, I want to see the market actually failing in structures, failing to create maybe new highs, and then it start breaking. All of a sudden, you're starting to see momentum candles, a lot of momentum candles breaking down below. So I kind of want to go selling, you know. Should I go to sell? Should I go actually selling at this point? Let's go ahead and take a look. So let's open up the super trend in this case. And the super trend is already giving me a sell signal with this candle. However, the trend has not been broken just yet, you know. So I... I can take this as a sale, but I would rather wait for the break to happen of the trend. Okay, so I'm entering somewhere there. All right, let's go ahead and open the CM EMA just in case also. Okay, in this case, we are definitely changing. We are going below the moving average. Remember that I actually change it to 90. Okay, this is up to you. You can change this 90. Let's see, the 200, it's a big too big maybe is not broken just yet let's see oh it is it is actually right there so you see you can use the 90 you can tweak it around 90 or the 200 sma the 200 uh, moving average okay on the settings and see which one plays out better for you right there but you see it's actually giving you the break right there nice and let's go to the madrid the other indicator right there so very important you see all the moving averages on this actual indicator right there. Let me hide this one. All the moving averages are on the red. By the time it breaks right there, you're completely bearish, completely bearish, you know? So you have all your confluences in your favor. You can enter with that candle if you want right there. You're placing the stop in this case. You, want, you can place it above, okay? Those moving averages right there, above, or above the swing high, which is somewhere here. Right, just to make sure one to two is the recommended at least one to two. You could be aiming this low or this is structure down to you know to the downside. It's up to you. You can continue holding until you see maybe the price breaking back up, right? And it's starting to turn green right there. Boom, that's a sign for you to get out as well. So it's your choice, guys. Literally, right here, this is the closest I could get. OK, from this actual indicator and this one, actually, it's it's even better because it's giving you the TP. You see this one at the moment is not showing you the actual TP. It's just giving you a smart buy, a sale, sale, a smart buy and then fail to the buy. And then here is giving you another buy. So you see, just make sure to watch also this video right there. He explains it very well and you make your own conclusions, guys. But this is as close as I can get for this uh, million moves algo indicator i hope it makes sense let me know what you think give it a big thumbs up if you are if you want to see me maybe you know doing the same thing with other indicators that you are interested just let me know in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to give it a look and see if i can actually replicate them if i can find the closest indicators, um, you know, free indicators on trading view, so you can use them and test them, test them out. All right. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.